camera just fell on my shoulder and um, I'm just gonna be a bruise. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my April plan with me and as always, I'm sorry this video is a little bit late. March is a super busy month for me. I'm feeling a little uninspired, people. But I hope you get inspired a little bit by this video and as always, subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow my journaling Instagram account. I'm going to be posting on there a lot more if you're interested in seeing like some of my weekly spreads and that kind of stuff. And then also follow my regular Instagram if you're interested. And with that said, let's just jump right into the video. So for the month of April, I started out by penciling in my cover design in pencil like I always do and that just makes it easier when I'm doing these videos. If I didn't film myself drawing them, I honestly probably would skip this step and just go in with marker. But to change it up a little bit this month, I did use my Tombow Dual brush pens to create my design because I use different shades of grays. I have like the all gray um, set and you can use the pens to blend together and kind of make it look almost like watercolor which I thought was a little bit different and fun. Um, I'm always looking for ways to change things up and I feel like I do a lot of floral and that kind of stuff just because it goes and I'm a very plain Jane kind of gal. Um, hence the all black and white spreads. So I like finding different ways to mix it up and this was fun for me But if you guys have any suggestions, I'm always looking for Inspiration and different accounts that you think I would like I'm very like Minimalist kind of but also a little bit like girly like I love the floral stuff. I'm just I'm getting a little bored of it. So Yeah, I pretty much just filled this in with using the different shades of the Tombow brush pens. I will link those below because I know a lot of people have questions on what tools to get. And these are awesome and they don't bleed too bad. I wouldn't say they're entirely um, bleed proof, but yeah. And then for this detailing work, I used a Sharpie pen, which I will also link for you. One thing that I did is I didn't um, actually draw the square in pen. I wanted it to look like there was like more like a white box on top of this floral pattern. So you'll see that I kind of wanted to make it look like the flowers were like coming out from behind it. And I always just swear I feel like it needs more. I kind of make it up as I go along. So I'll add different lines and things to make it a little bit more detailed. And then I went ahead with an eraser and just erased to the best of my ability and then I filled in the April title and whenever I don't think it comes out great I always add kind of a thick downstroke and that just cleans everything up nice. And then I added my mini calendar as I always do and I just think this makes for a cute title page. I should really change things up. But I like how simple it is. For my monthly layout this month, I did kind of like a more modern take. So I did 04 April, obviously, 2018, and then I was inspired by, again, um, something I saw on interest, interest, <laughs> Pinterest or Instagram. I just combined the words, but I will link all my inspiration in the description to give credit and then I just did a really simple abbreviated um, weekdays and I ended up actually going back which you'll see later and thickening those because I didn't like how everything was so uniform but this is super simple and I think looks really nice I also added a little goals column to the side which I haven't done in a really long time and then my camera decided to stop recording so for my habits this month I did them all in one page and I did three columns of the three things that I want to keep track of most and that was my yoga, my running, and not using heat on my hair and then I just made a vertical column going down and then I'm just going to X the days when I do each one. So hopefully you can kind of see that. I'm sorry it cut out. Here I'm just detailing the header for the page so it just says April 2018 habits and this is kind of what it looks like um, and I can mark off each day. Then for my YouTube and Instagram growth trackers, I used a K-cup. Um, yeah, that's a K-cup, so just find something, you know, anything works. <laughs> and I used that to make a circle, and then I took my Tombow brush pens again and was able to create this ombre watercolor effect, which 
I like. Um, I don't think I'll do it again, but it is just something a little bit different for me. It's not super my style though. And then I just put, um, you know, where I'm at and then I will come back at the end of the month and um, we can see how much I grew, which I just like to keep track of. I think it's fun. And then below that, I just have my lists. I like a place to kind of dump ideas throughout the month. So I have my YouTube video ideas. And I also keep track of just random things that I need or I want that are on my wish list. So that is kind of my other list. And these don't have to be super long. I just like somewhere to put them when I think of things. Um, they're more like bigger purchases. Then using this pen, which I believe I got at Michael's. I think it's pen towel, but I'll link it below. I'm just writing YouTube, Instagram, growth, and this font. Again, not super my style, but I liked it. And then I tried to add a drop shadow and it ended up looking terrible. You'll see it in a second. So I ended up just thickening the borders of these all together. And I don't love the way it turned out, but sometimes that just happens. So moving right into the weekly spread, I'm taking my Tombow markers again and doing kind of like these big days of the week letters. And I don't know. I got, again, inspired by something. And I think it looks really cool. I actually like how it's turned out. And then I used a thick black marker to write the days of the week in abbreviated. I added a small calendar to the left hand corner and I always highlight which week it is. And then I just added the month and then a this week to do list which I always do and love. And then I started doing this at the end of March but I just put a little fork and knife symbol at the end because um, usually my to-do lists don't go that long and I just put what I'm having for dinner because I typically have um, like items for breakfast and lunch but my dinner switches a lot so I like to be able to plan my meals ahead if I can and record what I'm eating and then I just added in anything that I knew that I was gonna have to do that week and I added a little more detail to the large numbers by just doing kind of like a pen drop shadow type effect um, where you just put a line on the right side of every um, marker and I really really like how this turned out so here I'm going back and just darkening those titles like I mentioned earlier and that pretty much wraps up this video here is my completed April plan with me it is definitely not perfect but I do like the way that it turned out again I'm always looking for new ideas so please tag me on Instagram and I hope you guys found some inspiration from this video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it as always leave comments below subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video